I'm so full of contradictions. My confidence comes from all of the bullshit I've had to go through my entire life. I just never had a life of peace, even from a young age, because it's not like I woke up one day when I was 16 and I was like, actually, I'm transgender. It's like I always knew that there was a misalignment between my mental psychology and my body. And so having that misalignment being considered to be like an effeminate male from a young age, like I was getting picked on by everybody. So I just never felt like safe anywhere I went. My definition of beauty is something that's captivating, something that feels like it's grabbing your attention. It can be grotesque and beautiful at the same time. It can be disturbing and beautiful at the same time. Just as long as it's capturing your attention, I think. I'm a pretty simple girl in terms of what makes me happy. I love good food from good restaurants. I love beautiful clothes from good collections and sexy boys from good parts of town. I started modeling when I was about 16 years old, which was the same year that I actually came out as trans and transitioned and all that stuff. But then the modeling agency reached out to me and they said they wanted to sign me, but on the condition that I came out publicly as transgender. And I, that was the year that I had just transitioned. I wanted to just like live my life as a normal girl. I didn't want me being trans to be the thing that like defined me from the get-go of modeling. So instead what I did was I took some like digital, some Polaroids with my friends and I sent those into a local agency in Boston. I went in for my meeting, I didn't tell them I was trans, I didn't say anything and they signed me and then I was modeling locally for a while and then when I graduated high school I moved to Paris for the first time and moving to Paris was Probably the best thing I could have ever done. The day I arrived, I booked my first job, so I sort of knew like maybe like there was something there, there was some magic to it, like maybe I should stick with it. I later on ended up getting discovered by Nicola Gesquier, who's the creative director of Louis Vuitton. I was a huge fan for so long, so being able to work with him and to have a worldwide exclusive contract with Louis Vuitton was like the biggest dream come true. I think if I could go back to one time in my life and give myself a little bit of advice, it would be when I had first started modeling and I first moved to Paris. I thought modeling was this incredibly important big deal and I really felt like I needed to prove something. And I think if I could go back, I would just say to myself, calm the fuck down, chill out, it's just modeling. Growing up when informed, what I found to be beautiful, what I found to be aspirational, what I was inspired by was like video game characters from like Final Fantasy and from Resident Evil, like all these video games I grew up playing. So I sort of started to create in my head this idea of what I thought a beautiful woman was supposed to be. And to me it was always like a very strong woman. I always kind of loved like the effortless, mysterious sophistication of like a femme fatale. I have always been called Teddy ever since I was little. Even though I'm <laughs> such an asshole, I said somehow Teddy works. I'm not questioning it.